We're on a massive cold front today. Sun's just about to come up. And after that, the wind's gonna pick up. But today's one of those October days where you just have to be out on it because this cold front is gonna be huge. We're sitting, we're looking over a food plot here. The deer have been in here really hard, especially in the doe. And it's coming up on that time of year when if you can find the doe, you should start finding bucks. It's a little early yet, but this cold front's really gonna get stuff moving. There was the first deer of the morning. It looked like a button buck and a, and a mom. It looked like a mature doe. I thought for sure they were gonna come down in here to the food plot, but it's just dead and quiet. And I made a little bit of noise. They must have heard me. They turned around and went right back to where they came from. It sure as hell looked like they wanted to come right into this food plot. Like I said before, I've been getting so many pictures in these food plots, it's unbelievable.
just had five dough come in from behind me. Something that they like rarely ever do. And I mean rarely. And of course, you, know, you guys could tell they knew something wasn't right. They could smell me. Just plain as day, they could smell me. Which I, I know my wind's gotta be going that way. That's the way it's forecasted today. That's not. Let's just kind of stay in here. Yeah. I really almost never have deer come from that direction very, very few times. Have I ever had, especially a whole herd of deer? That never happens. This would make any sense why they did that. Sat here for another hour. I didn't see anything. So what I plan on doing is I'm gonna go. I have two cameras to go check. One up in a food plot and one back towards where those deer came from. And uh, try to get some more intel, see what's going on here. Well, we're heading in for this afternoon hunt. This cold front has pushed through. The wind's really picked up now. Uh, obviously on the way in, I've seen a bunch of deer already up and feeding. So I got the GoPro on my shoulder here, just in case we come across anything that's already uh, feeding in some of the areas that are known to have deer feeding in them. And uh, if not, I'll see you guys in the tree. As you guys can tell, the wind has picked up, which is fine by me, really. I know which way my scent's going. It's going that way. And uh, I know this cold front's pushing through, which is just gonna be absolutely money. There is a pretty decent buck on this property. Um, the one camera, I checked the Tide Week camera, I checked it this morning and it was it was pretty freaking good we've seen him i've got a couple other pictures of him but all at night so hopefully this cold front gets him on his feet a little early comes in gets some food gets an arrow through his heart that would be ideal i was happy to be out it's a beautiful day so we'll see what the morning bring or we'll see what the afternoon brings us
if I got him. Man. I didn't like that sound. Not one bit. I gotta watch this back quick. Well, I just found my arrow right here, and uh, it's not looking too good. That's not blood, that is dirt on those fletchings. You can see how perfectly clean everything is. And I mean clean. Even the broad head. That's just dirt. And uh, one little root. It's not a hair on it, if you can tell. A little thing there, that was a piece of root. But there's no, uh, there's no smell on it right there. There's a piece of root. I don't think it's hair, but. I'm going to go home and watch the footage back on a bigger computer just to double check and uh, if I think I hit her we'll come back out and look but that's not looking like a, a hit deer to me well I've come home now I've watched the video back on the computer still looks like I missed Looks like it went like right underneath her neck, which wasn't a good shot either. So I'm already, I'm shooting just to make sure everything's good with the bow. Um, I'm a big believer that archery is like 75% confidence when you're shooting. And I had a lot of confidence right up until I thought I missed. So I'm going to get some reps in and, uh, Gonna have to practice harder, try, try to be better. Thank God I missed, I didn't wound her. There'd be some kind of blood or hair at the side of impact and uh, I couldn't find anything, so.